farthest away I ever been was the time Uncle Abner Moody, he took me down to visit a couple of cousins. They lived up in the mountains. They was the southern branch, clear down back of Lexington, Kentucky. Well, sir, we rode the train for two days, horse and buggy for two more. Walked about two miles, and just about the time Uncle Abner says that they must be just around that bend up ahead, it started. The Moody's were shooting at the mountains, and vice versa. Well, sir, we turned right around and we rode right back up here to South Moodyville, and we've been here ever since. Pretty good place here. Boy, you know, some folks think the minute you get set down in a town like South Moodyville, why, you lose touch with the world. Huh. Why, I tell you, it all boils down to just this. We had a pig once, a pig with an itchy foot, there wasn't no fence that could hold her. And every so often, she'd just take out into the woods and thrash around in the underbrush. And I'd have to go out after her. Why, you know, I never could have found that old pig out there in the woods without two good ears to tell which way she was with all that squealing and thrashing around. Yes, sir, it takes two ears to tell direction. 